All right. Let us go and make some potions. Let us go and make sure my mic is working. Yes, good. Good thing is to double check. Yeah, it's just switching weird on your end. Anyway, we uh, are gonna need to make some alchemy potions today. But the first thing that we need to do is make a bit of money. Alchemy machine is for nighttime. He needs a strong potion. He can't get past bedrock. He can't dig deeper. That is going to be a flex potion that you need. I got that for you for sure. And then what you got for me? You have cloud crystal. So we have a bunch of bizarre potions to make for the alchemy machine. And these seem like they're going to be really good for the random one-off potions that we might have to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy these, but I'm gonna haggle cause it's expensive. Boom, very easy. All right, now get out. I have other people to help. No one has put a curse on me. Even laughing is a burden. Sorcery's hard work. Potion that restores mana. Yes, I have this. I have many of these. I can help with this. You don't think you hit your enemies hard enough. Do so I have a potion that'll make you hit enemies harder and you don't like thorn stick? Uh, great news for you, I don't even know what Thornstick is. So, let me whip you up a, uh... Ooh, I can't do a Potion of Flexing. Let's see, how do I get down there? Without Terraria. Uh... Dryad Saddle will sorta do it. It's not gonna get us through the Bone Zone, but it is going to get us to the Bone Zone. And then we can get through there with one Terraria. Our very last Terraria. And then what? Another Dryad Saddle? Uh, yeah, it'll mostly get there. You just chuck one of those in. We're fine. And then... Is it really worth to do three? Yeah, probably. How much is Dryad Saddle? Ten bucks. I think we'll make more than ten bucks by getting a very strong potion of strength here. Okay, stop. Brew it. Not gonna bother saving that. I don't think it's very efficient, but I will absolutely take your money. Local Tavern Keeper asked you to come up with a special beer for rowdy guests. Yeah, uh, that would be a sleep potion. Just knock him out. We still don't have Terraria. All right, how do I get to sleep? A double Tangleweed? Double Tangleweed might do it. A triple Tangleweed might do it. It's a ways out there, I guess. And then what? Uh, Druid's Rosemary will, like, sort of do it. It'll grab us some XP along the way, and then maybe, like, a second one? It reminds me of a Tangela from Pokemon. Dryad Saddle's not the one. Tangleweed's not the one. Ice Root might be the one, but... I don't know, Life Leaf might also be the one. Just get in there. I mean, everybody has a purpose. And in Tangela's case, your purpose is to go very far to the right. Okay, that should be three. Here, you got rowdy bar patrons? Give them this potion that like puts them to sleep for a week. That should take care of it. 
my mushroom friend also needs a potion. What you got? Mushrooms prefer to grow in caves. It's so dark, you can't see anything. This sounds like a job for glow potion. Or the light potion, or whatever. And then, what do you got for me to buy? Goblin shroom. Um... I think goblin shroom is quite bad. <laughs> it doesn't, like, do anything. So I'm good with seven. Dryad Saddle, on the other hand, we use a lot of. So I'm going to get, like, nine of that. Stink Mushroom, despite being good, is very expensive today, so I'm going to skip it. Marshroom is, like, pretty good. Maybe I should go to 15. So it would be 11 of them. Mushroom's crazy, man. Holy cow. But look at how far it goes. All right, I'm going to get like five of those, even though they're not on sale. Mad Mushroom, we know we like, so we're getting all of those. Shadow Chanterelle, we know is quite good. So even though they're not on sale, I'm going to get like six of them. And then what else do we need? These things are so expensive. Could I sell some of them that I have because of how expensive they are? Yeah, they only sell for like 13. It's not like worth it at all. Okay, is this all we're getting? No, we should get those mushrooms too, because mushroom is really good. I would like to haggle for this, though, since I'm about to pay you over a third of my net worth. Okay, easy. Now get out. Potion that will make you stronger in battle, you want to be stronger and faster. Well, that could be, like, a flex potion. That would make you stronger. Dexterity. Actually, I don't think dexterity would make you faster. I think swiftness would make you faster. So can we go up? We can go up. Let's go up. Let's look at our potion and then go up. Grab some XP along the way. I just, I don't think it's possible. But we'll try. So as soon as it stops moving to the left, Still looks like it's moving to the left. Maybe there? Hey, Gabby. Good evening. Let's see. I don't think this is going to do it. But we'll try. We'll give it the old college try. Two. It really looks like it should be three. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, I think there's a three in there somewhere. I really do. But we have not found it this time. So you're going to have to settle for a two. I'm sorry. I'm not giving you any more time than that. 136. There's a three in there somewhere. I know there is. Uh, you fought with your family recently, and now you're not on speaking terms. You need a potion that will help you reconcile. What if you became large? No? Okay, fine. I'll go make you a potion of charm, I'm assuming. Although I have never made a potion of charm before. So, where would it be? Air, magic, water, life, earth, death, fire, or explosion. So, like, probably not death or explosion, I would guess. That would be that would be my wager. It feels like it should be life, but, like, we found a lot of life, which means it has to be magic. And I don't have a clue. Well, actually, there's two dotted lines up here, but those are all in, those are both in air. 
How many... We do have 21 Windbloom. And we've got a lot of Bloodthorn. And we've got a lot of Mad Mushroom. Alright, let's go find out what those two dotted lines are up there. That's gonna be... That's gonna be our, our task for this customer. We're gonna find you a Potion of Charm. Or die trying. Well, not die trying, but like we'll probably close the shop afterwards because it's gonna burn all of our ingredients. Okay, now take me up this way. Bloodthorn like kind of goes hard. We're not gonna have it double back on itself though. We're only gonna go up to like here. Okay, I see it turning back. No, get out. Don't ruin this. Okay, I see a potion. You can come back. But you're on thin ice. It's turning. Stop. Okay. What are you? We probably cannot get a three out of that. We can absolutely get a three out of this. So it's just going to be another bloodthorn. If we go to here, we'll be able to dilute our way back in. So we're going to zoom in, get those lines just right, and then we're going to dilute. And done. Okay, do we want to save this? It's not that bad. It's three... Oh, also oh, it's the Potion of Charm that we needed. It's beautiful. Uh, three Windbloom, three Bloodthorn is not bad, so let's save it for now. A Potion of Charm is a potion that affects the mind. These affect the body, so they go over here. These affect the mind, so they're going to go over here. And this is our ultimate Potion of Charm. So for this, we're going to want like a perfume-style bottle, I think. You spray this on yourself, or you spray it on someone else. Absolutely. And then give me like a give me a really small label, like thinner than that, like thinner. No, maybe honestly, what what other symbols do we have? It was quite clutch. The dilutions are always fun to bring them, like, just barely back in line. So what's a charm? Oh my God, hypno okay, you know what? The 90 degree rotation is not going to work for me. <laughs> We're going to... You're going back to zero degree rotation. I don't like the hypnotoad. What's a, what's a charm icon? Like you? Like a... A stinky thing? You? No, you're just like a like a spray. There's like a, a, a cloud. One of the faces? I don't like these. Neither of these people look charmed. None of these people look charmed. They just look like they're under the influence of something. I do kind of like just like the little cloud. I don't know what it has to do with charmed, but it is fun. What else do we have available? I'm just going to go with that. I think the cloud is fun. And I think those colors are fine. Uh, we don't need to brew it. We already did it. We just have to finish it. There we go. Okay, here. Try this on for size. 306. He loves it. One of your components keeps heating up too much during your experiments. Potion that help you cool it down. Yeah, that is bog standard. Boom. Get out. Potion that will put you in a berserker state before battle? Uh, like, becoming large? No. Like, like, dying? No, probably not. No, wait, that's not dying. That's necromancy. That brings you back. A berserker state. I do think I have a potion of rage somewhere, but I don't know if I saved it is the only problem. Explosion, poison, acids... If I had a potion of rage, it would be down here, because that's a potion that affects the mind. 
Yeah, I don't have a potion of dexterity. We're gonna have to go and uh, we're gonna have to go and make one. So rage is like way out here. It's an explosion effect. This is gonna burn a lot of bloodthorn to get out there, but we will be able to do it. How would how would we want to do it exactly? Do I have a potion that goes like or uh, an ingredient that goes up and over? No, no. Sort of, actually. No, you go too far down. Yes. No. Well, like, s sort of? Honestly, maybe. So if we could get to, like, here. Or, like, here. We could gold thorn our way back down into it. I don't know how efficient that is. But I do know that it'll work. Also, we're using a lot of bloodthorn. The next time that we see the druid stop by, we are going to need to stock up. Uh, you're cutting it very close. I think this will work, and if it doesn't, we're not really out that many ingredients. Okay, we're fine. So, one more. Come up to, like, here. And now we go straight up. So that's just going to be our wind bloom. It's going to be like wind bloom twice. And then it's going to probably be like a mad mushroom into a gold thorn. It looks about right, dude. It looks like that's just about going to do it for us. Okay, here and then gold thorn. Oh, have you ever seen anything more perfect in your life? Okay, I only need like that much of you crushed. Now, give me the line. And then dilute it. No, the angry bull is rage. He wants a potion that makes him mad in battle. I'm going to save this potion. I'm very pleased with it. Like, we almost didn't need to dilute that at all. Which is very impressive. What kind of shape should a rage potion have? Should be like a, like a chunky boy. Maybe it should be like a salve. It should be like a cream that you rub on yourself. Okay, this is going to be ultimate salve of rage. I do not want it to be a Chicago Bulls potion. I want it to be some other kind of potion. Do they have like the emoji like angry throbbing vein in your temple icon? I would love that. How about like a little dude? Like a warhorn? Ooh, what about like a like a berserker's axe? I kind of like that. Or like some cross swords. No, it's not like a cross swords kind of thing. I think it's like an axe kind of thing. Yeah, I think it, I think it's an axe kind of thing. This potion owns, and this is a mental effect. Just makes you mad. Doesn't actually make you stronger. Finish it. Sell it. Quickly start a fire in the fireplace. Yeah, that would be a potion of fire. Is what you could use to start a fire in the fireplace. Here's my last one. That's all the customers we had today? That doesn't seem like very many customers. Anyway, we've got a level up. Give me a little bit of trading. And then, down here, we now know how to get to three-star swiftness. So we're going to go and do that for our alchemy machine tonight. Take me up. Up, up, up. I'm going to try this one more time. If I don't get it this time, I'm giving up on the possibility of ever doing a four wind bloom, three star potion of swiftness. If I can't get it this time. But like, look at, look at the dotted line and tell me that that shouldn't be possible. I mean, come on. You want the X to be like, right? Right? 
there. No, that was way too far. All right, well, a little bit of extra won't kill us. So everybody be quiet for a second. Like, come on, that should be three. Just everybody, everybody chill out. Just everybody chill. No, this is a fool's errand. You're wasting your time. You're trying to transmute lead into gold here. It's not possible. Oh, it looks like it should be possible. It should be possible. Yeah, but it's not possible. Because if, if it was possible, you would have gotten it. And by virtue of the fact that you haven't gotten it, I'm inclined to say that it's impossible. And no amount of tweaking with your dilution and stirring is really going to make a difference, is it? No, it's going to make a difference. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm out of it. Alright, fine. Get one more stupid wind bloom in here. Just grind the whole thing. Take me closer. Give me the line. I want to see what I'm doing. Okay, there. There's your three star. It can't be done. It can't be done with four. You need five. I'm not saving it because that recipe is going to be full of like a hundred tiny adjustments of me just diluting and stirring and diluting and stirring. I'll get a cleaner recipe next time now that I know I can't do it in four. We also need a three star potion of dexterity, which is out here. How do we get to that? Probably with like two tangleweed and then an ice fruit. What's my bad potion of dexterity up here? Yeah, that is pretty bad. Four and one. I think I can do it with two tangleweed and an ice fruit. Bad potion of dexterity is in the hall of eternal shame for not being good enough. No. Not afraid of no bones. Now, ice fruit? No, not even close. You need to go like up into the right. Which mushroom doesn't quite get you there? Thunder thistle doesn't. Shadow chanterelle doesn't. Well, none of them do, quite frankly. So now, what are you gonna do with yourself? Yeah, none of these get you on top of it. You're gonna have to do like a shadow chanterelle into a water bloom with a heavy dilution. There's got to be an ingredient that gets us on top of that, and we just don't have it yet. But for now, this will be fine. Line them up. Dilute. There we go. There it is. And you know, I will save that. I think it's good enough. Uh, dexterity is a potion that affects the body. So that's going to go down here. What shape is it going to be? It needs to be in a vial that looks like it could go fast. Maybe like you? No, you're kind of weird. Maybe you're just weird enough, though. Ooh, maybe you're kind of... You're not very dexterous, though. What's a bottle that looks dexterous? You? No, you're weird with the icon. 
Although, I don't know. It's fine. It's good enough. I don't think that, like, a cat's paw is a particularly dexterous icon, though. Show me, like, a lockpick. There is no lockpick. Show me something similar to a lockpick. Uh, no. It, it will not. How about, like, a spring? Are springs dexterous? Would you say that a spring is dexterous? I would say that a spring is pretty dexterous. I don't want to sell like a spring on a bottle though. You know what? I'm going to put a lock on it because everyone knows that higher dexterity gives you an easier time of unlocking stuff. So it's going to be obvious to the average medieval consumer. And yeah, that's a fine color. That's a fine label. You just leave it like that. Finish this. Dump it in the machine. It's in this boy here. And then we need invisibility. I have no idea where invisibility lives. But I can tell you something about invisibility. And what I can tell you about invisibility is that that shit is magic. So we could spend a bunch of wish mu witch mushrooms and shadow chanterelles to go exploring. And we could maybe go and find it. We don't have any clues out here. But we could see, we could just, you know, go see what we can see. Which goes further. Shadow chanterelle technically goes further. So give me a couple shadow chanterelles. Also, like, re recenter me. Also, I don't need to be grinding this whole thing. What am I doing? Stop, like, here, and just really maximize your forward progress. Now you have an issue, and your issue is that you have to use witch mushrooms. I don't know, because that's just, like, grind the whole thing. Why not? Use every part of the of the herb. Uh, Tangleweed can kind of get me through that. It's going to be a little scary. Water bloom. Looks a lot safer on the surface, though, so let's go with that. Just water bloom me through here. Oh no, it's like all bones. Okay, well, we know it's not down there, so it's got to be like up here somewhere. Show me something that like goes up and then doubles back on itself. No, no, mate. Nothing does that. Okay, well then, let's gamble on another Shadow Chanterelle. Oh, you're very close to the bone wall, and you're not leaving anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, I... Son of a... Alright, we're gonna go a different way. I'm not done with this yet. I want to go... I want to draw a line, like, from here, straight to that whirlpool. Which means I basically want to be on the dotted line for the magic potion, but not quite as far down. So, like, up to here. I, I could just go, like, up past the lightning effect. I do have a lot of things that take me up. Alright, let's try that instead. Let's just avoid that whole mess over there in the first place. Just avoid your problems. Get in. Get in here. Now what? Uh, Thunder Thistle kinda hauls. That's gonna kill us. That might also kill us. Alright, fine. Use the Witch Mushroom to be safe. Okay, we have a dotted line. We could burn a Cloud Crystal to get past here safely, but I don't think we need to when we could use Shadow Chanterelle to get to, like, here. Here's our unknown potion effect. This needs to be three stars, which means I actually kind of need to use a Wind Bloom, and then I need to move over to the left, because neither of them were getting me right on top of it. So now, what takes me this way? Also, is there anything that grabs me all of that XP? Because that's a lot of XP. No? 
Alright, fine. Then just use your last fire bell. And remember, you can't brew this whole thing or you'll overshoot it. Right there. Cook it. Invis? Invisibility! Uh, I'll save it, yeah. Why not? Invisibility is a potion that affects the body. So it's going to go down here. The invisibility potion should be very small. It's, it's a very subtle potion. So I feel like maybe one of these little ampule looking guys is going to be pretty good for that. And can we do better than like a guy's dotted outline? Yeah, we can actually. What we can do is we can just not have a label. It's so invisible you can't read what it is. Yeah, that's good. Finish it, stick it down here, brew it. Now, do I turn the do I turn the crank? No, I need like this whole second set of stuff. I haven't seen that get sold yet, so I guess we're waiting for our wizard friend to come by for a day. And we're just like a normal alchemist in the meantime. Just doing potions and not being creative with our lives. I guess we can live with that. Got a lot of fire bell on the garden. This is good news. You're just like a vine. You, you're not actually like a guy. Alright, what you got for me? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't even remember what you sell, but why don't you show me? We've been using a ton of Tangleweed, so I'll buy that. Frost Sapphire. So, yeah, I'll pick up a couple Research Crystals, but I'm not going to spend a lot of money on them. Dryad Saddle, we're good. Sulfur Shelf, we're good. Earth Pyrite, way too expensive. Thunder Thistle, haven't really been using it. And this stuff is expensive as hell, so I think it's just going to be this for me today. Fair Merchant. You like mountains? You like oceans? Trees? Deserts? Yeah. Okay. Successful haggle. Now leave. Your mana's run out? You need a potion to restore it. I can hopefully do that. I can do that. We can do that four times for you. You're very lucky that our garden grew what it did. Combat potion that you can throw at enemies at a distance. Uh, I have multiple things that'll work for that, to be honest with you. Do I have anything sitting out right now that'll work? How about a, a poison flask? Oh, okay. I guess you can't throw poison. My mistake. Well, uh, the simple approach would just be like a fire potion. Yeah, sure. Throw this at people. It works. Advice on growing herbs in my garden. Yeah, I do that already. Oh, it's just because I have a special tree. Okay, I was hoping that would be like a garden upgrade, but I guess not. Show me your goods. What you got for me? Uh, yes, all of it. And also, honestly, probably all of it. What are you? Thorn stick. It goes so far. What else are we using to do that movement right now? Stink mushroom and mushroom? Hey, they're both like pretty good. And it's not on... Oh, wait, you have Firebell, too? Yeah, I'll be buying all of that. Lava Root. Dude, she's got crazy stock today, but it's all so... Ex Dude, look at how far it goes. It's insane. Holy cow. I'm gonna buy these, too. But, like, eh, they're so expensive. I don't know that I can justify it. And I don't think Thunder Thistle's very good. So... I guess we're just buying this today. And that'll be fine. It's all like, it's our basic essentials, really. So it's a good stock up, but I would have loved to buy some of your rare stuff. I just wish it was a little cheaper. Alchemist needs a mana potion that has no water cap in it. I don't think I even know what water cap is. So you should be good. 
right? Wind bloom, water bloom. It's not water cap though. So here you go. All yours. Potion that'll make your weapon freeze enemies. Yeah, that would be a frost potion, is what people normally call that. All yours. Potions that help with intimate affairs. Okay, so this has been on my shelf for like two weeks. I would love to give it to you and to get it off of my shelf. Haven't been seeing well and you'll go completely blind. Hey, so this has been sitting on my shelf for about two weeks. Can I interest you in it? <laughs> Perfect. I don't think potions go bad. That cleared out a lot of money that we spent that we had not actually recouped yet. So that's great news. Uh, I don't have anything to do with the alchemy machine. We could go exploring now that we've restocked on our essentials. Where would we want to go? Well, I can see a dotted line right here. So maybe up and through this corridor is where we go and explore tonight if we want to give that a shot. Let's do it. We're going to be going up a lot. And I don't want to spend my Feather Bloom. Although, it is kind of a good time to spend the Feather Bloom. Because it's for research, and I don't want to use essentials for research, and I don't want to use rare herbs for daily potions. So yeah, just take me up here, and then I'll tell you this as well, we're going to use a crystal. Because we've never used the crystals before, and they're probably fun. So here's the third one. And look at that. So I think what these do... Oh, they don't grind either. You have to, like, mash them into a... Oh, it's so satisfying. I think this teleports. Let's find out if this lets us... Oh, it does. Okay, sick. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted that to do. And then we go Wind Bloom. So these potions that use crystals are never going to be profitable to sell to, like, a customer. Because the crystals are so wildly expensive. However, they are very good for research. And since we're up and over here, we might as well just grab a bunch of XP. So now we go like down. Yeah, we could go down with one stink mushroom and we'll grab these books and then we'll cook the potion. Plus 60 and then dilute. So what are you? You're not that hard to get to, honestly. Levitation. Okay. We won't be saving that recipe, but I will finish the potion, and I'll just set it out. People might want it. And then... That didn't take, like, that long. We could go and explore somewhere else if we wanted. Where else might we want to go? Up there, maybe? Let's see if we have any dotted lines. No. No. Yes. Do we have anything that teleports us down? No. We have things that teleport us up. And we have things that teleport us to the right. Not a lot that we could do with that. We could get over, like, here and see what's in there. Or we could get up to Charm and go even further up. But then I'm a little worried about how much Wind Bloom we'd be spending on that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to bed and buy more herbs tomorrow. I don't want to get ourselves so low that we can't make potions for customers tomorrow. we got to keep the money coming in. Give me everything in here. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, what do you guys want today? Who are you? I've never seen you before. You always need mana potions. Yeah, I can make you a mana potion. Strange wizard from afar. Try that on for size. You need to win the trust of a criminal. Is there a way to enchant him? Are you... Is this all above board? I'm going to say yes. I'll give you one shot. Uh, that, that would be a charm potion, which we can do, and which tend to be pretty expensive as well. Yeah, we got good boy points for that. 
Needs a potion that restores their strength. So I don't know if this is a strength potion or a mana potion. I'll try the strength potion. Actually, I, I don't think I can make a strength potion right now because I... No, I did find Terraria. How much Terraria do I have? Ten? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Here, is this what you want? No, he wants a mana potion. All right, well, someone will want that sooner or later. Here, give me one of these. You wanted that. Yeah, there we go. Cats can see everything in the dark. He wants vision like a cat. That would be a potion of magical sight. Which I don't appear to have saved, but I do know where the effect lives. And it lives right over there. So we are going to work our way over to that part of the map. Bit of tangleweed. And then probably second bit of tangleweed. And then probably going up. I think that's going to be too far. Well, that gets us pretty close, actually. And then we'd want to go like this way. That looks like it would be really close. So, Shadow Shantarelmi up to, like, here. If this works, I'll be very happy. That's a long time to spend in the bones. So it's a little bit of, like, this. That's also a long time to spend in the bones, though. What if we dilute our way backwards and we line up a Thunder Thistle, though? Like, how much dilution do we need? More? More. More. A little more. A little more. You're pretty good there. So you get in like that, and then I need something that goes a little bit like... Oh, come on. Give me, give me something that... You know, I think I can make this work, actually. Because we do this. We put it in. We go to, like, here. We dilute. And then we go to, like, here, and we dilute. And then, we line it up. Put me right on that line. There we go. You, my friend, are getting saved. That is an impressive potion. Save it. Uh, magical vision has probably got to be something that affects the body. So you're going to go down there. Icon. It, it takes a bit of finesse, for sure. But, man, is it fun. I, the, the mechanic is just really neat. I like that there's a lot of ways that you can go about solving it. And if there's any particular potion you're struggling with, let me know. I'm sure I could figure out how to put one together for you. The, the spellbook is becoming very developed at this point. What does magical vision mean? It, like, it could mean a weird green eye. Maybe it's like a guy who's got a third eye. Maybe it's like an Illuminati kind of thing. Maybe it's just like a single eye. No, that's weird. That's also kind of weird, to be fair. Uh, what's, what's magical vision here? Maybe a Nazar? Okay, actually, I kind of like the idea of using a Nazar for this. Except the inside of a Nazar is supposed to be black. And then the outside is supposed to be blue, I think? Hang on, I need to remember what a Nazar looks like really quick. Oh god, it's like four colors. I don't have the palette. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Is there a better symbol? I, yeah, yeah, this guy. The colors are all wrong. So he's, it's like a, a black in the middle. So you are black. 
And then you are like a turquoise. And then you're like a white. I want you to be like a darker blue, though. Like, like technically, there's supposed to be four colors, but I don't have... Like, look, the palette's limited. Give me something a little lighter. I like that. I think that's good. Uh, brew it? No, we already brewed one. We're good here. Here, take this. Four hundred dollars! Holy cow. <laughs> We're rich. Uh, yeah, what you got for me? Yeah, I don't love it. I, the whole the whole book is going to need to revisit at some point. Give me one ice fruit. I never use ice fruit. You have 18 whirlweed today? Okay, we're, we'll be buying all of that. I'm very excited about that. Thunder thistle? No. Give me like four. Just don't like it that much. I do need to keep thunder thistle now, though, for those magic vision potions. Uh, Druid's Rosemary, on the other hand, is great. I think I want like 16 of you. I want to go all the way up to 30 on that stuff. And then you've got Thornstick again, but I can't afford you. I mean, I can't afford... I don't want to afford you, I guess, would be the better word choice. Also, this is like $1,000, so I'm going to haggle. No disrespect or anything. But it's a lot of money to spend on herbs, so I hope you appreciate it. Anyway, get out of my store. Fertilizer for your garden. Yeah, we've got those saved uh, somewhere. You? Strong potion of healing growth. Yeah. I mean, knowing that the healing potion doesn't really matter is a little lame, but we do have to, you literally have to go through healing to get to giant growth, so just brew it. You need to charge a component with magic? Yeah, I've got mana potions for you. I've got mana potions for days for you. There you go. You need a protection potion, and you don't want me to use more than one type of ingredient? Do you know what it is that you ask? A protection potion for battle. Like, the only way I could make this is with a crystal. Unless... A protection potion for battles. What if he doesn't need stone skin, though? What if he just needs, like, a fire potion? Oh, I used two ingredients in that. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's try this. I can definitely make a one potion fire ingredient that is at least two star. Actually, it might only be two star. But, you know, maybe a fire potion will protect him. Maybe you can use it against bad guys. And then, uh, since they're all on fire, you will be protected. Did you think about that? Based on how dumb my average customer is, I don't think they thought about it. Yeah, he, he did not consider that. And he's not really interested. So, um, well, mm, I could make him a potion of flexing. Would being strong protect him in battle? It uses all of my Terraria. I'm not thrilled about that, but is there anything else I could use that's single ingredient to get down there? Yeah, I could use Mudshroom, but that's arguably worse. Because I think Mudshroom is a fair bit better. I could not use Dryad Saddle. It would take us into the Bone Zone. Can't use Weird Shroom. Alright, we'll try it. We'll try one more time. We're going to make you a Terraria-only Ultimate Potion of Flexing. And if you don't like this, guess what? Oh, I already had one made. Oh my god. I hope that, like, some weightlifters come into town and help get rid of these. And it used our... Oh, and it used our Terraria. This anti-vaxxing customer has completely screwed me. Well, yeah, it's true. You do run out of ingredients. So, here is... Uh, you can watch me struggle through this, because I just ran out of Terraria, which is, like, my best ingredient for getting south. So we're going to use, like, alternative stuff. So we can Dryad Saddle here. We can go like that. And then we can go one Mudshroom. 
We can go like to here. Don't need to go all the way down. And then we need to go like this way. So we stink mushroom. Grab some XP along the way. No, don't shake the map, shake the cauldron. There you go. Uh, and then down into, ooh, Druid's Rosemary does it. There we go. Put it in. Stir it. Now, did that use a lot of ingredients? Yeah, of course. But, I, my strategy is this, and I make no claims that this is like a good strategy or a bad strategy. But for all of my recipes, I save the most efficient recipe that I can do that uses one of the four cardinal herbs, where the cardinal herbs are Terraria for south, Water Bloom for uh, east, Wind Bloom for north, and Fire Bell for west. So, like, always stock up as many of those as possible and use those in your base recipes, and then anytime you see those, buy them in bulk. And then if you happen to run out of them, just stock up on like other random stuff and then you can like sort of assemble one while you wait for a shopkeeper to show up. That's been my strategy and it's been working okay. You need an exploding potion. Yeah, I've got exploding potion saved. Here, how about this? Try this on for size. Try this strong potion of exploding. Now get out. We still didn't see our wizard today. Let me rearrange my shop quick. These go over here. You go over here. There's like, there's no rhyme or reason to any of these potions. This is the only, oh, I'm putting them behind myself. Hang on, I'll leave them out here where you can see them. There, good enough. Do we have enough spare stuff to explore tonight? I, based on the fact that we just bought 18 whirlweed, yeah, I think we do. And where do I wanna go? I wanna go up here. There's stuff up there. So take me to like here. Because I need to find a place where I can use as much whirlweed as possible because it, it goes the distance. So if I can get to over here, I should be able to whirlweed twice to get like all the way up to that bone wall. And that will allow me to use as few herbs as possible on doing the relatively expensive task of map completion and map revealing. You're not gonna quite cut it. You need to go like up this way. I don't want to use magic mushroom for, or mad mushroom for that, but I think I kind of have to. It's a, it's a narrow part of the map. And now we can use you again. I want to take you right to this corner, like right there. Don't come back. Just go to like here. And now the shackles have truly come off. And we can just haul ass all the way up the map. Like we don't need any finesse. We just need to cover ground. He's going to take us all the way into the bone zone. Like, look at how far this stuff goes. I'm going to stop you, like, right here. He's zooming, dude. And then, is that a dotted line? No, there's nothing here. You don't know anything about this place. Give me one more mad mushroom. There's nothing here. What the hell? It's just, it stops. <laughs> Do I have to come down this way? There's nothing personal about the bone zone. We just, like, don't get along. Oh my god, Marshall goes so far. The bone zone is very hostile to potions, and because it's very hostile to potions, it is hostile to potion crafters, by extension. You think there's something in there? Do I have anything that does a clean diagonal shot? The bloodthorn kinda. I could I could bloodthorn in there if I can line this up correctly. And lining it up correctly is probably going to entail getting to like here. I'm really just eyeballing this and it could be totally wrong. 
Come on. Show me. Oh, he's so good. Take me to, like, that book. He is truly pogging in this moment. Uh, this is going to be the last Bloodthorn that I have. But we'll send it. There's still nothing. No, there's a dotted line. We found the trail. Uh, yeah, Shadow Shanter all work really well here. Drink them. Can I drink a potion? Hang on, wait. Give me this intel again. How do I drink a potion? I am all ears for this strategy. If I can give myself, like, the gift of true sight. Oh, you can't. Okay. Maybe crystal it? Yeah, I could crystal across this. It, this does look like a nightmare to get through. Let me... Could I do it? Um, I could do, like... So it would cost me one witch mushroom, one water bloom, and then, like, one other thing to get across there. That'd be sick if you could magic vision and it would, like, alter the way the map looked. I know they're not done developing this game. It's kind of a sick suggestion. What am I trying to get to? So I'm trying to get to this dotted line. I don't know if you've noticed on the mini-map, but when you get close enough to a potion effect, there's a dotted line that shows up. And the further away you get from it, it fades away until it's, like, nowhere. So because we can see a dotted line up here, we know it's pointing towards a potion. And I just want to get to, like, here, because then we'll be able to find that potion. And then we'll know what that effect is. I, I could just, like, light money on fire to get to it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, the other hot tip that I'll show you once we get to the potion... Just teleport me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, there it is. So, take me over here. And here's the other tip. If you're struggling to buy ingredients because you're struggling to make money, uh, Sulfur Shelf might do it. I do have a lot of Sulfur Shelf. I'll, I'll use Sulfur Shelf in this because it will be an illustrative example. So, this potion effect has a dotted line. Your potion also has a very faint line. And if you zoom all the way in, and you get your potion line exactly on top of the dotted line for the potion, that means that when you add water, and the water pulls you back to the center of the map, it will pull you directly through the potion so that you can control getting a tier 3 effect. And we're not going to get that effect here because I think you also have to be able to rotate your flask in order to get these, and I have no idea how to do that. But for the other potions, weak potion of fear. I'm not going to save that because it's expensive as all hell to get out here, but I will finish it. Let's put it out. Anyone want to buy uh, Screaming Man? Uh, but the, the price difference between... Uh, tier 1 effect potion and a tier 3 effect potion in terms of the money you get from them is very, very high. So it's another way to make your money go further, you make your money go further, you can buy more ingredients, you buy more ingredients, you can do more research. Now, I think I can get out there more efficiently. I, anytime you use a crystal, a single crystal is like 180 coins. It's insane. It's truly insane. Yeah, I still don't know what the whirlpools do. Like, I don't know how to activate them. I, I put a flask on top of the whirlpool and, like, nothing happens. I'm not sure what their deal is. His experiment succeeded. He was finally able to obtain Void Salt. I haven't done Void Salt yet. Dude, spoilers. Hello? Up for a challenge for a symbolic price? Yeah, show me your goods. Enchanted paper Void Salt recipe. Void Salt gradually erases the path you've made. Oh, so it's like you can erase a bit of it. No, just kidding. I don't understand what that means. But I will buy it. 
And I will haggle you for it, because I don't have a lot of respect for you or your wizarding ways. I just think you're kind of an asshole. It's nothing personal. Anyway, I'm saving uh, $1,200 on that, <laughs> so that's pretty good. I wish you'd sell me alchemy machine parts, because that's what I really need. I could also buy pages. How many pages do I have spare right now? Five? I don't need pages yet. Get out of my store. What do you need? Certain alchemist sold you a potion that made your stomach hurt and gave you the runs? Yeah, that's just probably going to be like a healing potion. Potion to burn a monster nest. Yeah, that's probably going to be like a potion of, you know, burning. Did I try the air pump to get a potion effect in the whirlpool? I tried... Actually, I don't know if I've tried diluting. I don't know if I've tried diluting or not. I'll give it a shot. Need a potion that will protect you from different dangers during battle. You'll pay extra for a potion made from three types of ingredients, no more. And you need my strongest potion. And it needs to protect you from different dangers during battle. That sounds like a potion of stone skin. And I do have a potion of stone skin that uses three ingredients. So, yeah, that one uses five. So let's do this one. And you should just be pretty pleased with that. Overall, 482. <laughs> oh my god, he's a discerning customer. <laughs> Pull the potion through one with dilution and teleport it back to the center. I don't know when I would use that, but I'll give it a shot. What you got for me? You have stink mushroom. I've kind of evolved past stink mushrooms, but I do like having them. They give me a bit of control. And weird shrooms... Honestly, I don't know when to use them, but I'll take some. What is this? <laughs> it's, all it does is collect XP. Yeah, I can't imagine I'm ever going to need more than, like, one of those, but I'll grab them, because I've never seen them before. Uh, mad Mushrooms. Give me, like, 15, because I go, I go through these, like, crazy. And then Shadow Chanterelle, I'd love to buy them. I still have 11, and I don't like this price right now, so I will skip them for now, but next time you come in, I'll probably be picking up some Shadow Chanterelles from you. Also, extra money tips? Haggle the shit out of every merchant. You save a ton of money. It's impolite, but, like, you gotta stay in business. Potion that will put you in a berserker state. Yes, I have those. Not only do I have one, I saved one. I can't make one. He's out of Bloodthorn. Alright, how do I get to Rage without Bloodthorn? Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of Mad Mushrooms. No! We could use a, uh, a Windy Boy for this. If we just go straight to the west. And then we can Windy Boy our way up. Alright, so... We could hit this Whirlpool. We can give this Whirlpool a try and see what it does. So we'll try diluting in it. We'll try using the bellows in it. We'll try stirring the cauldron on top of it, and we'll see what that does. Hell yeah. Give me all that ex Oh, that's actually enough for a level up. Yeah, increased book spawning chance. Okay. Take me further. Give me a couple more books. Now, I want to land on this thing... I can't really, like, get on it. Uh, if I just throw a sulfur shelf in, I'll be, like, right on top of it. So, stirring a potion inside a whirlpool doesn't do anything. Diluting? I don't have a lot of room to dilute here. But it doesn't appear to do anything. And then bellows. Oh, bellows do something. Oh, wait, what the hell? It teleports you? Do I have control over where that goes? I wonder if it sends you to a random spot, or if it ran if it sends you to the same spot every time. Because that could be really interesting. Anyway, how do I get out of here now? Uh, probably with a Shadow Chanterelle. Yeah, so it's the Bellows. 
it rotates you around the outer edge of the whirlpool in tighter circles. And then I guess if you rotate there too long, it teleports you. Uh, let's just fuck around with this guy's potion. Did he have, like, special criteria? No, he's just like, give me something that makes me mad. Yeah, I'll give you something that makes you mad and might also have, like, 30 other side effects, if that's cool with you. Because I'm just going to, like, chuck stuff in here <laughs> and see what it does when we go to the, the whirlpool. Okay, so first thing I want to try... Does it take me to the same place if I use it? I'm going to say it does, because now that I did that, there's a dotted line on the map that, like, points to a thing. So, take me back to it. You can save the recipe after teleporting. You can what? <laughs> That's insane, if true. Okay, it sends you to the same spot every time. God, now I gotta discover all these whirlpools? And then the other thing I wanna see... We're gonna go back up there again. And then we're gonna go... What did we do last time? One of you? Yeah. And then one of you... I want to get right on the edge of it, and I want to see how fast it pulls me into the middle. Because it could also be that we could use these whirlpools to fine-tune our position on the map without necessarily using them as a teleport. So if I just, like, very softly bellow... Yeah, it just kind of rotates around the outside. So I can get, like, free distance out of it. Okay. Dude, whirlpools are insane. We should have been using these a long time ago. Anyway, I guess I should probably, like, finish your potion now that I've thrown a hundred ingredients into it. That takes me too far. This will be good. Okay, so we spent a lot of ingredients to learn a couple of important lessons today. But that's okay, because knowledge is priceless. Now what? Uh, like, yes, exactly, but the bone zone's gonna be scary. Please do not bone zone me too hard. Okay, we're fine. It's a luxury potion. It's got electrolytes. Three? Okay, fine. Thank God. <laughs> we kind of, we kind of winged that one. Okay. Here's your, uh, whoop, whoop. here's your, here's your potion with like a lot of extra supplements in it. You want a certain lass to like you, but she won't even look at you. Can you help me with this? Yeah. Uh, change your hat and then like get a haircut. That would be a charm potion. Ooh, I'm out of Bloodthorn. Unlucky. You might need to be alone tonight. How easily can I get to Charm? Yeah. Couple Mad Mushroom and a, a Windy Boy would probably put me there. I'm going through Mad Mushroom at a rate of knots, man. But like, at least we bought it when we saw it, because we knew it would be good. Yeah, here's your here's your here's your congealed potion. It's probably less like a potion and more like, you know, aloe water, coconut water or something, where it's got like a bunch of chunks floating in it. Potions be looking like, you know, boba or something. The Windy Boy just takes me too close to the bone zone. I can't do it. I needed to go a little further over, but I'm not sure when that would have been possible. Uh, you're not going to be three. You would be three. There's probably a three in there somewhere. Actually, the three is pretty easy here. Look, he doesn't need to know that like every job is also an opportunity for us to learn something about ourselves. And about the art and craft of potion making. So 
I want to make sure I can line this up exactly, so I'm going to bring it just a little closer to the flask so that I can see both my line and the dotted line. And then I'm going to stir it over. There we go. Oh, I'm not like quite on it. There we go. Here's your weird charm potion that I ran out of ingredients for. You urgently need to bring something to the next village over, but your horse isn't fast. So I have a potion for horses to make them faster or give them more endurance. And you want an unusual potion with additional effects. And you're willing to pay more for each effect. Okay. How fricked up can we make this horse? <laughs> this is going to be... Um, so like one speed... We could make it dexterous. We could make it strong. And then we could also make it huge. It's like a giant, fast, dexterous horse. We could make it, we could give it rage. Oh, we could make it levitate! Levitate is so hard to get to, though. Oh, but it would be good. Alright, we're going to try and do it. We're going to make like the, the ultimate horse racing potion here. Okay, first of all, uh, let's just make hay while the sun shines. It's also, we need to create a potion with four different effects, so we're going to be uh, creating a, a potion with four different effects here. Just use all my Feather Bloom up. Fear, I don't, here's the problem. Customers are dumb and they don't know what they want. So my concern is that if I were to make... Uh, a, a fear effect in this potion, it would actually be that, like, it would make the horse scary to other people, because every time I've tried to do a potion with multiple effects, the effect has been, like, the opposite of what I'd expect. So we can fit five effects. We're going to do two swiftness, because that's, like, the main thing that we want to happen. And then we're going to give your horse a little bit of, like, levitating action, no, don't put the pestle in. Put the put the mushroom in. Give it charm. Also just make it like a really attractive horse that people want to be friends with. Which mushroom? Use the whirlpool? No, too late, it's gone. I don't think it would have mattered that much anyway. Okay, take me in here. Now what? Uh yeah, one thunder thistle will do it. We're only ever making this potion once, so I'm, like, throwing efficiency to the wind. Oh, it's perfect. It gets me, like, right on top of it. Okay. Add the effect. Stir it around a little bit. Now, take me back out of here. The hard part. Sure. And then dilute. Dilute into the books. And then, like, over here. And then dilute. And then, like, as long as we're here, why don't you dilute me into this whirlpool? And we can just find out where it goes as long as we're here. The horse isn't going to know any better. It's just a horse, dude. Okay, where do you lead? You, you, you don't do anything. Uh, we could put an explosion effect on the horse. No, just take me down. Take me down faster. Use a weird shroom for this, because you never use weird shroom. Take me down to, like, here. Yeah, we're getting the stuff the horse needs. Don't worry about it. We're absolutely taking care of a horse in one form or another right now. Okay, just add this. Grind the whole thing. We're going to discover a second whirlpool along the way. Just dilute it. Just add a ton of water. No, we're not making horse chunks. Oh, that's a weird one. Okay, well, we grab, like, some XP. This 
potion's gonna be so weird. <laughs> Just uh, truly one of the potions of all time. Uh, where am I trying to get? I'm trying to get to dexterity. Okay, well, uh, mill me like half of these. And then dilute it. And then here, I think we can go sicko mode on that whirlpool. And we can really use it to cover the ground over to the the uh, the potion of dexterity. So just like I want to go really far. But I also need to go a little down. So it's going to be an herb that goes like that. No, not really. No. 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 Maybe, but like probably not. Maybe. No. Do you have anything that just goes like a little down? Okay, fine. Life Leaf is really making an argument for itself here. I worry it's going to go too far down, but I guess we'll find out. So, like, just take me to the very edge of the whirlpool. Oh, it lights up when you're within range of it. That's neat. I actually need to go, like, a little further into it, or I'm going to hit that bone wall. And just, like, take me around nice and slow. And then... Give me the hell out. Pump it. And then the last effect is strength. We need this horse to be... No, huge. Huge? No. Strong? Should we make the, the horse huge or strong? I want to make it strong. I'm going to go with strong. We're making an executive decision to make the horse strong. Now we just like dilute our way literally back to the start, and then we just go down. Like it's, I'm not making a sexy horse. Get out. <laughs> we don't we don't do that here. We don't fetishize horses. Okay, good. And like honestly, just probably fine. I'm so ready to be done with this potion. I've been back I've been in the back room for like three hours and this customer's like, uh, it's not like that important if I had killed myself on the bone wall. I might have just stopped streaming. Okay, anyway. Potion of Swiftness, Levitation, Dexterity, and Strength. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's find a picture of a horse to put on it. Surely there's just like a normal horse and not like an angry bull, right? We got like a dove. A horse, of course. That's a kangaroo, dude. You can't lie to me. A kangaroo is not basically a horse. A bull is closer to a horse than a kangaroo is. Also, this is not a horse, so I can't put that on there. Why do they have two icons for bulls and no icon for a horse? This is obvious bull favoritism. Okay, we're going to put the bull icon on it, and then we're going to put it in the flask that's shaped like a bear, because, you know, who knows what this potion does. <laughs> Finish it, dude. Oh, that was the last thing we needed to do in the chapter. How about that? <laughs> Here, have this have this potion. It's only four eighty nine. Are you kidding me? We put way more than four hundred eighty nine gold worth of work into this potion. I'm haggling for it. I don't even care. It's gonna cost me a rep. I know what I'm worth. I'm worth way more than that. Six eighty four is about right. Here, take your weird bear horse bull potion. You need a freezing potion that adds lots of druids rosemary. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you this as respectfully as possible. Frost lives in the water quadrant. Druid's Rosemary does not take you to the water quadrant. You will be getting a normal Frost Potion. And that's like all there is to it. You do not look like you know what alchemy is. Get out of my store. There was a landslide in the mountains and the tunnel leading to your village was blocked. That would be a Potion of Explosion. Just blow them rocks up. Yep, 
no, dude, nobody hallucinated that horse. That potion was 100% all business all the time. Uh, do we want to explore anywhere? <laughs> it's, we, I do have, uh, where is it? I've got like four frost sapphire just burning a hole in my pocket. You want to try and get over here? We could try and get over there. How else can I move over there? I've got ten tangleweed. I've got ten water bloom. I'm going over there. Yeah, I've got tons left after the horse debacle. Also, I need to figure out where a bunch of these whirlpools go still. God, there's, I, I wish I had known about the whirlpools earlier. All these whirlpools I've been through, I could have figured out where they go. Anyway, uh, I don't. I think that's good enough to get through here. I think we've done double tangleweed before, just straight out the gate, and it hasn't. It hasn't boned us in the zone. Okay. The zone of boning, as it were. Give me some books. This looks like a job for druids, Rosemary. You're gonna take me down to like where a sleep potion lives. And as much as I want to know about that portal, I think I'd rather just land directly on top of this giant pile of books. With my handy dandy teleporting frost crystals. So we're like, whoop. Oh, and then there's a potion like right there. Hello. How are you today? Uh, yeah, we never use Thunder Thistle for anything, so let's use Thunder Thistle for this. Oh, the other thing we figured out from those Whirlpools, they don't rotate your flask. So that must be some other kind of mechanic that does that. Uh, just a Water Bloom here is probably good enough. And I don't really have to land, like, right on it, because it doesn't really matter. What are you? Fire Protection. Okay. And then as long as I'm here, dilute me back, and we can just figure out where this whirlpool goes. Might as well grab it as long as we're here. Oh wait, this keeps going up. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's find out where it goes. Wow, that's shitty. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a troll. Let's see, could we keep going? We could keep going for a little bit. I kind of just like, I, I want to get over this and see what's in there. So yeah, why not? We're already kind of like throwing ingredients away today. Let's throw away a couple more. What's it going to hurt? I need you to come, like, up this way. Do I want to figure out where this whirlpool goes instead? No. I, I only care about revealing the map. I can come and do whirlpools later. Also, there's a whirlpool up here that I can get. Okay, let's see. That's not going to do it. That... If I can get, like, a little further up... I think that would actually do really nicely. So it's gonna be like, God, wind bloom might be a little too much, but we'll see. How do you, how do you do now? Oh, you don't. You're like directly into the bone zone. In fact, there's not a lot that gets me over there cleanly now. A witch mushroom does, and then I kind of need to swoop. Down? Oh, this is so expensive. I could also just teleport it. And we could get out of that bone wall pretty easily. But I want to know where this whirlpool goes. Alright, I'm going to do the whirlpool. This is the only time I'm ever going to hit this whirlpool. Because look at the bullshit we have to go through in here. It's insane. One druid's rosemary will get me on top of it. Dude, if any of, like, the Grow Weed Simulator games on Steam were half as good as Potion Craft, I'd play those two. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. We're done with that for today. <laughs> no, we're not. 
We're going to go down real quick. There's an opportunity right here. You do nothing. Okay, you know what? We're not quite done yet. We can do one more. He can't be stopped. We have 25 fireball. I'm not going to lie to you. The first time I figured out that whirlpools could teleport you, I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. And every other whirlpool that's teleported me, I've been like, this is garbage. Why would I ever do this? It feels, honestly, here's my hot take for you. Hope you're ready. The teleportation on whirlpools feels like a punishment mechanic for trying to have them swing you too far, rather than something that you would ever use to brew a potion. That is my honest hot take for you. It feels like a, oh, you screwed up mechanic, rather than a, here's a convenient way for you to get from, like, X to Y. Also, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I'm <laughs> just unlocking uh, Whirlpool locations. Okay, this potion's done. We've, we've done enough here. Nobody ask what's in this bottle. It's, it's fine. You're fine. Don't talk about it. I'm going to bed. Now that we've squandered all of our resources, uh, what else can we do today? Anything, 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 anything? No. Yeah, that could be true. Backing out of the hard to reach areas. That could be very true, now that I think about it. Oh, there's a dotted line here! We had an opportunity to figure out there was a potion. Oh, that's fine, we'll go look at it later. What do you need? Spot on the river with the tastiest fish you've ever had in your life. Only problem is you're skittish. As soon as they smell your boat, they're gone. If only there were a potion that makes people float above water. Guess what? There is. New potion just dropped. It's called levitation. Good natured. Oh, we're, we're max good boy points. Okay. You need something to make your plants grow faster. You'll pay extra if the potion is truly good. Well, we're truly good. So I'm going to assume that means you'll pay us more. And you like it when a potion's ingredients are simple and clear if there's no more than two types of ingredients. I'm pretty sure... No, that uses three types of ingredients. So I'm going to... Okay, so we need a growth potion that has only two types of ingredients. I'm pretty sure I know how to make that. It's going to be a lot of druid's rosemary. And then it's probably going to be like a tangleweed at the end of it. Something like this. Third druid's rosemary doesn't really do it for us. Tangleweed actually doesn't really do it for us either. Oh, mushroom does it for us. That'll be a level three for sure. So take me to, like, here? Yeah, there seems good. No, well, yeah, we probably could have whirlpooled. But we would have had to use another ingredient anyway, so... This also accomplishes the task. There, that looks mostly lined up. Three save it. This recipe actually kind of owns. I'm going to save it. So this is a potion that affects the body for sure. It should be like a, a big chunky flask because you're like dumping it on a bunch of plants. So maybe like this big cylinder boy. Yeah, I like this guy with the big stocky cap on him. I want a label that goes all the way around the bottle. Ooh, and then I like the stump that has vines coming out of it. That's a cool label. I'm getting that. Yeah, it's just like a giant mason jar full of a shitload of potion. This is a all natural potion of wild growth. Raising the bizarre implication that other potions that we sell in this shop might not be all natural. But we can let the customers figure that out. 
Special mushrooms for a certain ritual. They usually appear around this time, but they haven't come out yet. Need to speed up their growth? Yeah, I don't know if you just saw the customer in front, but I got you for that. You even get the fancy bottle. Oh, I really like that bottle. I think that's one of my favorite potions right now. Also, why don't you just conjure mushrooms? Oh, uh, you don't know how. Okay. Madam Twerks, the owner of the local brothel, came to me and asked me to come up with a special beer for establishment that helps her clients feel liberated and awaken their inner beast. Hee <laughs> hee. Make it wilder. Let's see. Do I have anything that would make it wilder? Yeah, how about this potion of embiggening? No? Okay, honestly, thought it would work. Uh, flexing is probably not going to do it. <laughs> Fear is probably not going to do it. Fine, let me let me get into the back room and make you a potion of charm. Oh, sorry, I called it an ultimate potion of libido. That's a lot worse. Um, but it's still three star, and it's pretty dang simple. So, yeah, here, just spray this on people. Oh, thank God. Uh, what kind of potions do you need? A new spot for collecting plants. Shortest route is across a steep slope. You need a levitation potion, almost certainly. I can just tell from the way you're describing this problem. Did I not save my levitation potion? No, because it was the one that I used the crystal to get to. All right, we need to come up with a non-crystal potion of levitation today. That'll be an interesting task. Let's see, how do I want to do that? I could come up through here. I could use one whirlweed to get to this whirlpool, and I could use it to kind of like circle around that way. But I'm a little short on mad mushrooms. My other option would be literally nothing, because I'm going to have to use mad mushrooms no matter what. Well, no, I could go straight up sulfur shelf and then up and over. Huh. I really don't have stuff that takes me up into the left. I might have to I might have to whirlpool this one. So that would be like one, two, three, probably. I'm gonna go up first. I, I think this is going to be safer. At least initially. Yeah, give me a one, two, three. And then probably a four and a sulfur shelf might take me to just about where that whirlpool is. I think I can just barely hook into it. And we've already discovered this whirlpool, I believe. It moves me to there. That isn't the most helpful thing, so I'm probably not going to be using it to teleport. Oh, the sulfur shelf doesn't get me there. What else moved me over? A, like, one fire bell would do it. Yeah. So we'd fire bell. And then we'd mad mushroom in here. I don't even want a mad mushroom in here. I want something that moves me like here and then goes like zoom. Moves me all the way over to the other side. Does such a thing even exist? No. I need like you but opposite, honestly. You but opposite would be like kind of sick. And it's not you either. Yeah, it's not you either. Alright, this is going to be where we have to use the mad mushroom, I think. And I need to grind it like once. Just to get me to like here. That's going to put me right on the edge of the whirlpool. We need to be incredibly gentle because we don't want to get sucked into the middle. And then what's your plan? Like, what's your plan from here? As with, like, virtually every other plan that moves us up into the east, it's a shadow chanterelle. Eh, Thunder Thistle's actually pretty good here, too. Alright, fine. Give me a Thunder Thistle. And then move me, like, all the way over. But then back around the other way. No. You will not. 
Well, is there anything that hooks me like up and over like this way? No. No, not such as you'd like. So you're gonna have to come over one. And that's probably gonna be like a water bloom. And then you're gonna need to come up. And that's gonna be like a wind bloom. And then you're gonna need to come over again. And that's gonna be like pretty much anything you want. A sulfur shelf can sort of do it. A sulfur shelf can sort of not do it. Mad mushroom can also not do it. Wow, it's gonna have to be a fire bell and it's gonna have to be really precision. So like, I'm gonna overshoot it a little so that I know if I need to, I can go up a little further or over a little further. But I just wanna get right on that line here and then dilute. And truthfully, like until we get some different ingredients, I think that's as good as it gets. Like that was a, considering where we had to go and what we had to do, I think that's a pretty damn efficient potion. Levitation affects, well, I, stuff that affects the body is getting pretty cluttered. I would say that since people normally cannot levitate, we're going to call that a magical effect. And in fact, let me, let me do some reorganization here, sorry. So stuff over here is going to be, uh, this is, so pure magic abilities. Elemental magic abilities are going to go in like the middle. And then magical properties that affect the body are going to go over here. It does. It's very much like lab work. I don't know what kind of lab work you do, but I did uh, organic chem as an undergrad, and it feels very much like organic chem work in that you're documenting everything, and there's like these different effects and all that kind of stuff. So these are all element... I'm going to call this elemental properties of magic. So that's going to be fire, frost, electricity, light, that's a mediocre potion. You're going over there because you're not very good. These, I'm content with this side of the spellbook being dangerous magical effects. So this is where like explosion and poison and acid go. And then down here is going to be magical effects that enable the body to do something that it can't do inherently. So dexterity is just like making your dexterity better. Flexing is just making your strength better. Iron skin is just making your skin thicker. A normal person cannot become invisible. So that makes invisibility a pure magic effect that it affects the body. Magical vision is not good vision. It's explicitly magical vision. So you're going to come over there. And like normally things grow. So you stay over here as well. Do these all make sense still then? Yeah, these are all just like normal emotions that are enhanced by the potion. It also means that slow I, people can be slow so I think you're also going to come down here I think this makes more sense from an organizational perspective let me just nest them here a little bit yeah there we go okay we've reorganized the spell book it makes good internal consistency now yes now what can I buy from you I would like to buy all of these. You are selling them for nine. That is highway robbery. I will buy all of these. You're selling them for 15. Iron Blade, this is where you make money, by the way. If you're having trouble with cash and the herbalist comes in and is like, hi, I'd like to sell you literally any base herb for nine coins, you buy every coin she has. Or you buy every herb she has. And then, like, after a while, you don't have to think about money anymore. We'll be buying these... Hairy bananas I don't think are that good. I'd love to buy Thornstick, but not at that price. I'd love to buy Waterbloom, but not at that price. Grasping Root's a little weird. Dream Beat is a little weird. Don't really want to buy either of them. And I'll haggle. I've got, I've got time to haggle. It's just a bit of friendly banter that ends with you selling stuff at less than 50% of what it's worth. Oh, running out of the ingredients. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a deal. It's I I could be buying stuff when it's not on sale, probably. But I don't know. I haven't run into a ton of ingredients because I'm just trying to keep everything diversified. Sometimes I do have to go into the lab and make something special, but... You need a mana potion for the healer in your party? Yeah, I can make five of those. Here you go. Need a potion that can break the thick shell of a monster. He wants a lot of mushroom. Extra if the potion is made from them. So, he wants to break the thick shell of a monster. That would be a potion of acid, and potions of acid do have the ability to use mushroom because acid is all the way down here. So I'm going to make this one up custom. Show me mushroom. Here it is. Custom potion coming right up. And for this one, even though I lose a bit of distance, I do want to hook all the way around, because eventually I'm going to need to come up for the acid effect. So I'd actually keep that, that northerly motion occurring. Okay, then we come over. Sulfur Shroom might have taken me a bit further there, honestly. And then we do this again, and another mushroom should, like, put me right on top of it. This is a potion of acid currently. He needs to break the thick shell of a monster. And uh, this looks like it'll do it, really. Two stink mushroom might land me exactly on it, though. So let's try that. One. And... Zoom me. Line me up right there. And then pull me back. Right there. Perfect. Finish it. I don't think I'll be saving that recipe. It's fine, but I already have two pretty good. You want a potion that's at least half mushroom? Are you out of your mind? Alright, fine. I'm selling that to you anyway. I don't have time to make that again. The lock on your front door is stuck? Yeah, dude, just melt it. I can only make either of these one time. How many mushrooms do I have? 14. This uses six? Okay, you know what? I should have saved that recipe. Because that was actually a pretty good recipe. Let's just make it again, though. We remember how it works. One mushroom. Put it in. Two mushroom. Put it in. Three mushroom. Put it in. And then take me down here. This time I will remember to use a sulfur shelf. Because I think it's going to move me further over. And then... Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh... It's going to be a fire bell, probably. Over to, like, here, and then a mushroom. Wow, it puts you right on it. I could have just made this for you. Come back to my shop. I've discovered the ultimate recipe for you. Why didn't I just do this the first time? This one's crazy. Okay. Pull it back. Hello? Oh, you have to be kidding me. I just I needed to grind it like a tenth more. Alright, fine. You're getting a level two. That is annoying. <laughs> I would have rather that not happened. Do I have a potion that'll help you grow an oak tree? Yes. In fact, I just saved one for you. Brew it. Here you go. Grow that shit, my dude. That's it. We still don't have alchemy machine parts. We could do research. Where was the dotted line we saw? Up here? So if we can get to, like, here, 
We could crystal across that gap. We could. You could also work your way in here from there, and you could just teleport across that gap again. It's books over there, too. That's fair. You do make a compelling point. It is books over there. And it's pretty cheap to make it over to this part of the map, too. So take me through these books. Give me a little XP. Give me a druid, or a druid's rosemary. That's what this is called. Give me a druid's rosemary. Stir it up a bit. Live dangerously next to the bone zone. Grab a bunch of books. And then it's just, what, like a water bloom and then you crystal? Yeah, that sounds right. So satisfying to hear the crystals break. Teleport me. And then... Come up, like, here. I need my mushroom friend to show up. I'm about to run out of Shadow Chanterelle. And that's not good, because I use this shit in everything. Like, everything. Okay, take me all the way up. We're not stopping at the Whirlpool this time. We know it's just a troll. Uh, that's scary, though. You s Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> oh. I wasted a crystal to do that. I got a book, at least. I don't have the heart to do it again today. I'm gonna have to buy more stuff. I'm going to wait to buy more stuff and do it tomorrow. I'm actually discouraged, live on camera. <laughs> the damn bones out. Okay, give me some plants. Oh, it's the, the thorn stick stuff. Nice. We just got some in the garden. Now we can finally play around with it. Dwarf, if your crystals are not on sale, I'm not buying. Oh, he's got seven frost sapphires. This shit, like, $600. Okay, I'm gonna buy all seven of these. But I'm gonna haggle. Give me the money. Do you mind these yourself? Oh, okay. He's, he's a dwarf from Dwarf Fortress. He might also be a dwarf from Deep Rock Galactic. It's unclear. You need a fertilizer for your garden? Yes. I have what you need. You need a potion that enhances desires. What is wrong with you? You will pay extra for a potion with multiple effects that doesn't use more than one type of ingredient? You, far from not being an alchemist, I don't think you've ever, like, read about a herb. I don't think that like fundamentally you know what it is that you ask you're going to get just like a desire potion and you're gonna live with it i'm fulfilling neither of your requests i do not care get out of my store always getting in a tight situation shot at by robbers stabbing bandits potion that makes your skin hard as a rock yeah i would love to do that for you thanks for your service which of these can i do I can make two of those. I can only make one of those. I'll do this one, then. Here, I have this tiny thing. I know it looks small, but it's quite powerful. Don't worry. Wants a potion that'll make him strong. I didn't have one in my inventory. There's no stone, stone skin down here. There's just a ton of flexing potions, which I think I can offload now. There you go. You want to be stronger in battle? I got you. Why are you always selling different herbs? She doesn't gather the same ones every day. She knows a lot of good spots, but they're far apart. She has to get in the time to grow new crops. That makes sense. So what you got for me today? Uh, like, most of them. So we know the Tangleweed is great. We have been out of Terraria for most of our existence, so we'll be buying all of that. What are you? Goodberry. We've never had the opportunity to buy Goodberry, but I don't think I'll be starting now. We're at 18 Waterbloom. I'd like... 12, even though it's not on sale. 
Whoa, this one's crazy. Fluff Bloom. Thunder Thistle we're good on. Feather Bloom is too expensive right now. Lava Root is interesting. It's only 44. In the grand scheme of things, that's not that expensive. And while we do have a lot of potions that move us, like, directly to the west, we don't have a lot that sort of shift your position northwest. So give me, like, ten of these. It's an interesting effect, and I'm willing to buy some. Oh, and I need, like, fifteen of these. Uh, what else do I need? Add a hundred? No. Forget about it. Ice fruit? Uh... Yeah, I'll take one more, just because I think I used it in a couple bizarre recipes. Thunder Thistle, I'll take one more. Yeah, and then let's haggle. Because I'm buying almost $2,000 worth of herbs from you. Okay. Potion that protects you from enemy attacks. My friend, we just stocked up. I've got everything you could possibly want. Make me the one that's really heavy on Terraria because I just bought a ton. You need a potion to fly over a deep ravine. I've got you. That would be a levitation potion. I can make four. It's a beautiful sight. Did I not customize this bottle? I didn't customize that bottle or that picture. Hang on a second. I'm not selling truly customizable potions. This has to be one that looks like it could fly. Maybe it's time for this weird squiggly bottle, or maybe it's time for one of these tiny boys that just crushes the label. Maybe we just don't have a label? Yeah, sure. It's kind of funky. I like it. Or the cloud one? Is there a cloud one? No, that's labels. Oh, like one of these. Oh, like one of these. Oh, yeah, that could be fun. I could see that. Yeah, we'll get a nice wavy one. Are wings good enough for levitation? Do we have something better? I kind of like a flag flying in the wind for levitation. That's kind of that's kind of neat. Or maybe a cloud, but we're already using the cloud for charm. No, nah, I'm going to do a flag. I think the flag is fun. And then no, we brewed it already. You need a potion that'll make you strong. No more than one type of ingredient. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what the Potion of Flexing does. You need a potion to poison rats and other little vermin. That's a poison protection potion, so not quite. But I can make you a poison potion pretty easily. Yeah, it's been a while since we've made a poison potion. There you go. There's a door in your mansion that's jammed shut. Yeah, that would be a potion of acid. I can do that for you. Absolutely. There you go. Or explosion. Yeah, probably explosion. I probably could have done explosion, but I don't think I have an explosion potion out right now. I've got fire, fire protection, fear, enlargement, poison protection, and necromancy. So yeah, I didn't have one just sitting around. What is this legendary recipe? Oh, we, we're already working on this. We know this already. Oh no, we have this now. What the hell's all this do? Oh, this lets us make void salt. I see. But we need to make another uh, black crystal for it. Okay. I see. Do I know where all of these effects live? This is triple necromancy. No, I can't do triple necromancy yet because I don't know how to rotate a flask. So I can't make void salt yet. I'm still working on albedo, I guess. How do you rotate a flask? Can you drag it? Is it that easy? No, you can't drag it. <laughs> Wait, what's this? New potion bases can be purchased. Oh, maybe it's a potion base thing. I don't know, man. I'm very confused. I guess in time, the mystery of the, the mysteries of the universe will probably reveal themselves. No, I don't want to know. I'll figure it out. The game will tell me. Alright, grab the garden. I'm going to do one more day, and then I'm going to be done. Just FYI.
I'm approaching two hours here, and I've got other stuff I want to do tonight. But we'll do one more day. We'll see if our wizard friend shows. There he is. If you do not have parts for my alchemy machine, thank you. Thank you so much. So I'll take those. And then, yeah, as long as you're here, I'm just going to buy all your enchanted pages. Haggle it. I don't even care that they're not on sale. Because we're going to save a ton of money on it. Now, get out of my store. Something that can help you dot 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 relax. The hell does that mean? You want like a sleep potion? Is this going to help you relax? I can make nine of them, so I sure hope so. No? Fine. What else would help someone relax? Besides, like, obviously a potion of libido. Uh, thanks for the follow. Ironblade, thanks for hanging out. Does that put us at 100 yet? Let me go check. No, it puts us very close, though. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do at 100. Heading back to work? Yeah, sounds good. I'll, I'll swing by. I, I try to take, and pe take a peek when I've got the time at whether people who follow me are also creators themselves. So I'll definitely swing by and see what you're up to. And then there's also a VODs channel that you can find somewhere on the About page, so if you miss a live stream, I upload all this stuff to YouTube to back it up. And you can always check out what we're up to there. But yeah, have a, have a good rest of your time at work. We'll be wrapping up here pretty soon as well. I'll catch you on later. So you need something to help him relax. It's not going to be undeath. It's not going to be dexterity. I feel like the dot 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 is very suggestive. So I'm just going to make him his potion of libido. He's got a dirty mind. Yep, that was it. Get out of here. Pervert. You need to dissolve a certain mineral for an experiment, but you need some powerful acid. It's best if the potion is weak. You're contradicting yourself, but sure, I'll make you a weak potion. So here's what we'll do. We will uh, continue brewing from here. Oh, it already saved the effect. Oh, I was hoping it would save the position before I brewed it, and then I could just distill it backwards, but it's actually just a completed potion. All right, well, you sit out on the shelf. I mean, at least we've got the potion of acid like down to a science at this point. It's three of you. Two. Three. And then it is a sulfur shelf. And then it is all of a fire bell. And then it is uh, one more mushroom. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Of course, he doesn't want the actual powerful potion, so this is just practice. But that's how we're going to do it. Next time we need to save a third acidic potion recipe. And just, yeah, give me the, give me acid one. Finish. So how much do you pay for this? You pay 374 if it's weak. If it's strong, you only pay 312. So it is actually worth it to make a weaker potion. Okay, nice. You need a potion that glows in the dark. Quality is important to you. Fortunately for you, quality is our middle name here at Chef's Salve Shop. So have your big star potion. Potion to help you burn a monster nest. Yeah, I just happen to have a potion of fire laying around. And then our mushroom friend needs a potion. What do you need? It's across a wide and turbulent river. You are going to need a levitation potion. Don't ask me how I know. I can just see it in your eyes. Things aren't half expensive to make, unfortunately, but sure, it'll unlock more mushrooms for us. Uh, Moss Shroom kind of ended up saving our lives on one of these, so I'm going to buy a couple of them to reward them for their good service. Water cap is crazy, but it's also very expensive. Goblin Shroom, I'll go to 15, but I don't really know when I'd use it. And Witch Mushroom, despite being pretty expensive right now, I think I need to go to 15 on them, because I use them a lot. I wish you showed me Shadow Chanterelle. 
but you didn't. And for that, I'm disappointed. I'm losing my mind trying to haggle with you right now. There we go. I'm sorry, I threw you sleep potion. Buy a potion that'll help you keep different delicacies fresh. Do you have anything that will help? Yes, I have a potion of frost. It's like a fridge, but it's in a bottle. A weak exploding potion. Yes, surely I can do this for you. Exploding is just right up here. So how do we get over there? We're down to five firebell. That's a little scary. Uh, Mad Mushroom isn't quite going to do it. Well, it could, actually. We can use the Whirlpool here. It's going to use up all the Mad Mushroom that we have. But... That's okay. We can buy more later. So get me just on the edge of it. And just go nice and slow. And I need to stir my way through these bones. There we go. And then you're free. Get out. Now what? I don't really have anything that goes up that direction. <laughs> Weirdly enough, a phantom skirt would kind of do it. No, it goes the other. It goes the wrong way. I needed to go exactly the other direction. Well, in that case, I guess it's going to be like a fire bell up to here, and then it's going to be like a wind bloom. And we, don't, we really don't need to grind it at all. He just wants the weak potion. There you go. Finished. Done. Potion that can get rid of cockroaches, bedbugs, and other insects. That would be a poison potion. I have these. I am more than willing to share them with you. Potion to make your skin as strong as stone, no more than three types of ingredients. Acid maybe? Yeah, acid might have been able to work there. No more than three? This is no more than three. So I'll be brewing that for you. You're going into the woods to track game. You could use a potion to help you hunt better. That would be a potion of magical vision to let you see better. And I can make seven of them, so that's a great investment of resources. I never changed the default bottle on you either. Hang on. We can't be out here using default bottles. Potion of Magical Vision. I don't know. We haven't used you before. You're a fun shape. I don't know. I like this one. I also still don't like this icon. I think the Nazar was like a fun idea, but I don't have the colors to make it work. So what would magic vision mean? Let's actually sit down and try and figure this out. Besides just using the cat eye, I don't just want to use the cat eye. I'm scanning... Really, like, not anything. Maybe this, like, super trippy... No, I don't even like that. Maybe, like, a wand? I don't want to do... The Hypnotoad's a meme. I don't want to do that. Why is magical vision so hard? <laughs> it could, could have it be mushrooms. It's a little clever. Is there like a raindrop? Man, magical vision is hard. Hard to find a good icon for this one. Whatever. For now, I'm going to use the eye, but I'm going to change its colors. I don't like the colors. You can have like a... Yeah, like a funky purple color. That's that's a little better. Did I breathe this already for you? 
Yeah, I did. You left already. I'm just... This is homework for later. Now, down here, what do we have? Three swiftness, two dexterity. I can do that. I can brew that up and then we'll be done. So, grabbing swiftness first and then diluting lets us basically just get back to dexterity. So, start me with swiftness three, which I don't currently have. Oh, very interesting. So this is our opportunity to put swiftness three together. And we have tried many times to make this work with four Windbloom. And we know now We've resigned ourselves to our fate of knowing that it does not work. So we're going to use... That's not going to work either. That's also not going to work. We'll use three of you. And you're still not going to work. Is there really nothing that does it for us here? Oh, you know what? Foggy Parasol would work. Uh, yeah, why not? I guess. I really can't imagine myself using Foggy Parasol for anything else. So, we'll stick it in there. Now from here... No, we should come around to the bottom. From here... Dilute so I can see the line. And then stir. And then dilute. Oh, I missed it. I didn't have fine enough motor control and I missed it. And not only that, but that also, like, we needed the, the three effect. Piss. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, what else gets me there? Firebell will get me there. Alright, we're going to come back and get that one later. It all happened so fast. Okay. Your swiftness, three. Now just get all the way back to spawn. Grab the XP, and then get all the way back to spawn. You, and then for dexterity, are going to be the two Tangleweed. One, two, and then like a Shadow Chanterelle, I think, does it. Because we just use Shadow Chanterelle on everything now. We do only need two, and I think that'll get me close enough for the, the two pip effect. One, it didn't. All right, take me a little further down. Two. There we go, good enough. Finish it. And you are going in here. The guy with the coil inside. Yeah. So three more potions to brew, and then we'll be able to make our albedo. And I think that is going to be our project for next time, because we know where all of these effects are. It's three mana, a charm, a levitate, three invisibility, a dexterity, one mana. And uh, a dexterity, swiftness, charm, invisibility, and levitation. We know where all that lives on the map. So that is what we will be doing next time. But for now, I'm going to call it a night. And I will catch you guys around. Oh, wait, let me level up quick. And now I'm going to call it a night. So next stream, prospectively, tomorrow's a little scary. Maybe like 3 p.m. But if not tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are all pretty clear. So I will see you guys around for that if you decide to swing by. And if you don't decide to swing by, there's always the Thoughts channel. But have a good rest of your night.